What do you think is on the line and what are you watching for in this very special night in American politics? Well, right now I'm just waiting to find out whether I'm going to be drinking in celebration or despair. So uh, that's what's on at stake for me personally. But, um, you know, Ari, I think one thing we can say definitively right now from a Democratic Party perspective, from my perspective, is that it pays to compete everywhere. If you had said months before that Alabama would be competitive, people would have told you that's insane. Mm. But what we see is when we really field quality candidates, no matter where they are, we get in the race, we force the other side to spend money, and we get in position to take advantage of unusual circumstances. And tonight and this moment in history is full of all kinds of unusual circumstances. Very unusual. And you make such an important point that relates to some of the things that people People think are boring in politics like what is the registration deadline and how organized are you to have as you put it candidates in the field uh, Michelle take a listen to uh, the wife of Roy Moore uh, making something of a closing argument about the identities of people they say are their friends last night fake news would also have you think that my husband doesn't support the black community. We have many friends that are black. Fake news would tell you that we don't care for Jews. One of our attorneys is a Jew. Michelle Bernard, comment as you see fit. So I've, I've got a term for you that a, a psychologist friend of mine that I increasingly turn to for help in, in figuring out what on earth is going on in the country uh, gave me a term today called um, folie à dire, and it's basically French, uh, and it means shared madness. And, she, and what she described to me today is that the whole country, particularly the state of Alabama, is living in the shared madness of Donald Trump and what has become Donald Trump's America. You look at, at uh, Roy Moore's wife, and she has she appears to have absolutely no clue whatsoever that she just demonstrated blatant racism by explaining to us that they've got a Jew who works in the campaign, and they have lots of friends that happen to be black. It's just, it is absolutely so absurd, particularly when you look at his wife and all of the things that are on the table. I mean, let's face it, one of the most important things, at least from my perspective, that is on trial tonight is do, does the state of Alabama does the President of the United States, does the United States Congress care about the lives of girls and women and children? Mm. It is the most important issue of the night from my perspective. Mm. The entire country is on trial. What does our democracy mean? Remember, Roy Moore is the man who once said that the United States Constitution should have stopped after the Tenth Amendment. You're a lawyer. You know what that means. Women's rights came after the Tenth Amendment. The ab abolition of slavery came after the Tenth Amendment. The right of African Americans to vote came after the Tenth Amendment. But he thinks the country should have stopped then. Uh, you put it so well, and you, you combine that with his record of flouting the law, being removed as a judge uh, because of his refusal to follow orders, not, not, a, quality, yeah, not a quality look for in a judge. Uh, and yet what we're seeing, at least in exit polls tonight, is how tight uh, some yeah. of the issues are. We're not, of course, reporting it on anything regarding the outcome. The polls are open. I want to broaden our discussion, so both of you stay with me, but I, I want to bring in a panel here. Leo wright Rigor is a professor at Harvard University. Michelle Cottle, who writes for The Atlantic Today, that shame is a potent cultural force in this moment, unless you're dealing with a man like Trump, for whom the term is meaningless, and Laura Payne, a Trump supporter, an Alabama delegate to the 2016 GOP convention who's come out against Roy Moore. And, and for that reason, Laura, I start with you. Um, if you're against Moore and you are a, a former Trump delegate here, who did you vote for today and what are you, what are you seeing? I hate to say I'm against Moore, but I'm really just for a write-in Republican. I'm, I'm, I support the Republican agenda. Um, I won't say I'm against Moore because, I mean, he's, he's a human being like everybody else and I feel like the rhetoric's been pretty harsh. Uh, with him, and I understand people's views when they hear the things that have come out of the campaign or from his mouth. Um, but it's well, different here when you um, know why, people. But you made a decision as a, as a longstanding Republican not, not to vote for him. I, I don't mean, I mean, in politics we use so right. many words, I don't mean to overuse the A word against to mean you're against his <laughs> entire, uh, you know, presence on earth. But you, you, as I understand it, there, there is a reason why you decided not to vote for him today. Yes, and I did not vote for him, and I, 
I want to support the Republican agenda, but I did not feel like um, I felt like some of the women were credible. I felt like some of the women's allegations, especially the 14 year old, you know, they haven't been discredited. I mean, I think that her word is all we can go on and we don't know who is guilty or who's innocent or what. But just from looking at the information that I've seen and reading the Washington Post article, and I thought they vetted it very well. Um, you know, I just I can't help but just to think that, that there may be something there. As Senator Shelby said, where there's smoke, there may be fire. So that's kind of the way I look at it, too. And plus his years on the Supreme Court, um, he didn't uphold the law then. And maybe it was for moral religious reasons. And I understand that. But when you're when you're elected to an office, it's also the people's office. And I feel like that he should have, you know, done more with his job and mm. used it appropriately to make a difference versus just take a stand and, and, and be suspended.